What's up guys? So a lot of people have been asking me to give a tour of all of the posters and pictures and shit on my wall, so I'm going to do that today. My wall has been a work in progress for the past like four years and it's going to keep growing and growing, but I'll show you what I have now. It's really just a bunch of random shit. There's no theme. Just whenever I get something, I just put it on my wall. So I guess I'm just going to start on this side here and just like go all the way around. This is one of several paintings by my friend Carter who you might know if you've ever watched any of my live streams. This painting as well as some of the other ones I'm going to show you is a result of the drawing game which uh, Carter does with her friends where you basically take turns you take turns drawing stuff and you just add on and add on until you get some weird looking shit at the end and then she paints it and this is what this is and there's a couple other ones and I'll show you those in a minute. This is a poster that I got when I went to see Iron Man 3 in uh, 3D at the movie theater. It's a Smash Brothers poster. If you've ever read or seen anything about me you know that I love fucking Smash Brothers and there's a poster of it. This is a drawing I did a long time ago. It's a self portrait of myself ordering two mind erasers. I don't drink mind erasers anymore because they make me throw up. But I used to be really into them. <laughs> this is a Hannah Montana Valentine. <laughs> this is a uh, picture of three hearts that my old roommate gave me one day. I can't remember why. These are two bus transfers. This is probably the most random thing I have on my wall. I think I just wanted to fill in the space with something weird. Uh, but yeah, those are bus transfers back when I used to ride the bus. Fortunately, I have a car now, so I don't have to do that anymore because the bus system in this town is terrible. These are more drawings I did. These are just pencil drawings that I did of a couple of my friends. Here's one of them. And there's the other one. Kind of a weird angle. And also, here's another pencil drawing. And that is actually a portrait of me before I had all this hair. This is the Incredible Hulk punching out the side of a fucking building. And it's like probably the most awesome poster on the wall. It's also probably the oldest. I think I've had this longer than anything else that's on my wall. Got a lot of random Marvel comics art. There's one with Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor. This is the CD insert to the ludicrous album Chicken and Beer, which is one of my favorite albums. Up here is a Salvador Dali print. This right here is one of my favorite posters on my wall. It's a uh, image from a Freddie Wong video called Power Hour. You should go see it. It's a parody of Kanye West's music video for his song Power. It's really awesome and they made post a poster of it and I bought it and here it is and it's awesome. It's basically just a bunch of people getting drunk in various ways. <laughs> Got more CD inserts or two more. This is this right here is the Gorillaz uh, second album demon days and then this right here is the gorilla's first album which i which is self-titled this right here is a poster that was included with most deaths album the new jane the new danger which is actually not that good an album but this poster is cool this is a painting i did of my friend and so you can probably tell that i'm a lot better at drawing than i am at painting it's jay and silent bob i'm a huge fan of kevin smith and jay and silent bob so i gotta have at least one of one poster of them. This is another painting I did. It's supposed to be in the style of Chuck Close. I don't know if you're familiar with that guy, but uh, again, I'm better at drawing than painting. This is a poster of R&B singer Sierra, who I think is gorgeous. Got a lot of little uh, wrestling photos here from uh, WWE or what used to be WWF. This is Gangrel. And this is uh, Hulk Hogan and Psycho Sid. Here's a Street Fighter poster, which is drawn by one of my favorite comic book artists, Joe Matarera. We've got Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, and Guile. Right here's a painting that was given to me by my friend Kathy. It's like neurons and that kind of thing. This is a Picasso print. I actually really like this. It's like very simple and like scribbly looking, but it's really cool. And this is a world map. I think everyone should have a map of the world. Some people have been like giving me shit because it's the Mercator projection, which is kind of known for being like inaccurate in terms of the proportions of the, uh, the different continents like Africa is like way too small in this projection so I kind of want to get a different one but uh, this one's cool because the names of the countries are written in the language of the country so like Brazil I don't know if you can see that it says Brazil or like if you go to fucking Spain up here it says España I don't know if it's I don't know if it's gonna focus maybe you can see it I don't know got more Marvel art here it's just a bunch of uh, assorted Marvel characters here. And then we got more wrestling. That's Edge. Fucking Undertaker choke slamming Kane. And then we have Val Venus. 
Who is he fighting? Is that Jeff Jarrett? I don't even know, dude. This is a poster from my friend's band. It's called A Four Notation. They make uh, music that's uh, inspired by video games. You should check it out. Go to afournotation.com. But anyway, this is like a pixel art image, which is actually really cool. Some of you may have seen this before. This is like an image of Jesus that they actually send in the mail to people. And technically, you're supposed to like use it to pray or something and then mail it to somebody else. But I decided to keep it because I thought it was funny. That's Paper Mario. Paper Mario. This is another painting by my friend Carter. I actually commissioned her to, to paint this for me. Like, I paid her for it. And I really just told her I just wanted her to paint a picture of me. And so she painted me as a genie coming out of a can of Miller High Life. Which I guess is uh, suitable enough. And of course I have to have the Alabama poster. The obligatory Roll Tide. I know most of you don't care about like sports and things like that, but... That's my jam. Got more Mar Marvel stuff over here. We got Doctor Doom up here and then Venom. I like this Venom poster a whole lot. This is another painting by Carter. This is like, I get a lot of comments about this painting because it's really creepy and it's really interesting. But Carter has this really like, like simple creepy style that I, I like a lot. This is just a sketch of John from Garfield that I drew. I actually hate Garfield. Like, not the character, but the comic strip. I really hate it. But I love the way that it's drawn. Now this thing here, when I first moved into this apartment, I had this idea where I was going to have this thing. And every time I had a visitor, I was going to make them sign this paper. And um, I did it for a little while. Like you can see all the people who signed it. But uh, I feel like there's, I feel like I always forget to ask people to do it. So there should be like way more stuff on this, but it is what it is. I've also got a couple of menus on here. You always want to keep your menus, or at least in this town, there's a lot of good places to eat in my town so you want to keep your menus. This is another painting by Carter. This is probably my favorite one that I have. This is a poster for Scribble Knots, which is what probably one of my top 10 all-time favorite games. Uh, I want to play the I want to play the most recent one. I haven't played it yet, but this game is awesome and I have a poster for it. And finally over here, this wall is yet to be covered. I'm I'm working on it. But uh, we have two more paintings from Carter and these are two from the drawing game, like the first one I showed you. This one has become affectionately known as the Vagina Monster. Apparently this one's name is Abner? I don't know. And that is pretty much it in terms of my wall. So for all those people that have been asking about what's that, like I get so many comments like, what's that on your wall? What's that over there? There you go, that's all of them, at least all of them for now. Maybe I'll do an updated tour once I get a little more stuff on the wall. And just in case any of you are interested in my friend Carter's art, like I said, I, I like it. It's very, it's like cartoony and kind of creepy. I'm into it. Um, I'll leave you a link to her Instagram. She's in the process of building her website or her blog. I'm not sure what she's going to do, but uh, if you're interested in that, you can go to her Instagram, write her a message or something, and uh, maybe we can get uh, get her to paint you something or you can just message me if you're interested. Anyway, sorry it's been a while since I made a video I've had kind of a lot of stuff going on lately um, I'm I've had to deal with uh, like my old roommate has moved out and my new roommate has has moved in um, it, My new roommate is actually Chris who a lot of you probably know if you've actually watched my streams But so I've been dealing with that for a while and then I had a issue with my internet because we had to transfer the internet to it was weird so I'll try to get back on track here in, in a bit. I've also started a job here, kind of. Well, I guess it's a job, but I only work uh, two days a week. But I've been doing that, so that takes a little bit of time out of my week. But anyway, I will try to put out another video uh, very shortly, hopefully within a week. Thank you for watching this video. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to all of the new subscribers. How you doing? If you like the video, please press the thumbs up button and subscribe if you like my hair. Holla.